and we're going to go ahead and move forward with the um, the coffee talk that we have for today. And so today's coffee talk is the biggest problem Microsoft 365 users face. And so I'm going to go over that today and show you our current research that we have with um, Microsoft 365 users. So let me just say before we begin, of course, our questions and answers section is open. So feel free to use that on the right hand side and we can get back to you shortly. So before I begin, um, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. My name is Madison, and if you ever need to reach me, you can find me at info at businesssoftwarecenter.com. We have it here on our slides, or you can find me with the hashtag Coffee Talk TBSC on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or YouTube. Okay, so with TBSC, we conducted research in 2020, and this research was a focus of Microsoft 365. And so this primarily focused on remote staff and of course office staff and it had over 10,000 users in our study with 15 different organizations varying with tech, education, retail and other other different businesses. Um, and we certainly saw with the pandemic many um, fields went into remote working uh, simply because they were pushed and they had to. So uh, how did we measure the usage with um, the data we were collecting. Well, we used this tool called Smarter SaaS, which is a tool we developed. Uh, it's a detailed Microsoft 365 usage analysis tool. And so I'll get into more details about that after I review the data. Okay, so our biggest findings that we had with this study is 89% of organizations are not fully using their Microsoft 365 apps. And I would say that's probably the biggest issue that Microsoft 365 users are facing, but you know, we do have other information we did pull as well. Only 11% of users are fully utilized. And what does that mean? That means that they're actually using the software that they're paying for. So they're using all the applications that are bundled into the licensing that they're purchasing. 5% um, of remote employees are non-compliant, which is a bit dangerous. Um, we'd like to see that number, of course, at zero if we can. <laughs> But um, this basically means that you are over installed on devices and you become non-compliant, which puts you at risks for audits or having to pay extra fees. And so uh, a way we found this information out is, of course, we ran our compliance check through Smarter SaaS. And what we can do is see who is installed on what device. And of course, if you're over five installs, that means you are uh, non-compliant with Microsoft. Also, we found that 43% of users do not use Teams and different different reasons come into that. Uh, they could be not trained. Perhaps they don't really know all of Teams benefits or maybe you're using a different communication tool like Skype or Zoom. So there's different factors to it, but ultimately, you know, why have this and pay for it and not use it? Um, so that's another reason another problem that Microsoft 365 users face. So the conclusion is, what is the problem with Microsoft 365 usage? Well, of course, it's the efficiency is not being measured in most organizations. As I mentioned earlier, only 89%, I'm sorry, 89% of businesses are not even measuring at all. They don't really know what's going on. So essentially, you're not using the licenses that you're paying for. OK, so what can you do? Well, you can use Smarter SaaS. And oops, Smarter SaaS is a really great tool that we developed for users in mind. So I, of course, I would recommend it for you. And Smarter SaaS helps you achieve the best business practices. So Smarter SaaS, we can help you set goals for your business, for your software usage. We can then help you measure your usage. Um, we can identify variances going on with the usage, and then we can implement certain solutions to certainly help you out with getting the utilization up. Uh, so different so solutions include subscription recycling. Uh, we can also help identify training needs and then suggest different training for your um, remote staff. And then we can help uh, ensure that you have the right facilities for your um, workers. And this is all done through one product, which is our Smarter SaaS. It's a cloud-based uh, solution that is available on Microsoft App Source and Marketplace. So you can always download it from there. But yeah, it's basically a one-stop shop for you. And I'm just going to go into more detail about that now. So our Smarter SaaS for Microsoft 365, the usage feature. So um, I have a screenshot here of a, a 
our dashboard. And on our dashboard, you can see three circles, and these are pretty nice chunks to look at here, which are the reharvesting, the surplus, and the optimization opportunities. Now, if you select each one of these circles, it does open to another page that gives you a further breakdown um, user per user. So you can get more information from that, but this is just an overall idea of uh, where you can get your savings and how you can optimize your Microsoft 365. So Sweater SAS also has a compliance feature, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this just so you can see it. So we were able to come up with uh, this compliance feature here, and we think that being in compliance is obviously really important. And you know, most of us aren't lawyers. Most of us don't really pay attention to the terms and conditions we sign up for, which is unfortunate, but it's true. Um, so with Microsoft, they only allow up to five installs. And so with our compliance feature, we can see which user is installed where on what device and with our color coordination you can see that the green means go green means you're okay whenever you see yellow that means you're at the five which is the the allotted amount and so that means okay hold up slow down maybe monitor this and then if you see red that means that you are in the red and you shouldn't be uh, you definitely over installed so with situations like this you can have different ways of um, handling it whether that's emailing that specific user and saying, hey, you're over installed, what's going on? Or just looking for yourself, wow, four windows, are, are some of these retired or are some of these past desktops that we provided to our, our remote worker before, et cetera. We can help you break down uh, your compliance and come up with solutions for it. Moving on, let me just zoom out here. Moving on to a uh, smarter SaaS, the Teams feature. So with our Teams feature, we help you really optimize the remote working and remote working is here to stay. Um, it's not going anywhere, especially with the pandemic. Um, and I did see a lot of research with Gartner and even Microsoft saying that um, many businesses are planning to kind of be a hybrid now, um, as work sometimes in the office, work sometimes remotely. So yes, I would say this Teams feature is really good, especially for your remote working staff. So it, it helps your team stay efficient and connected. Um, the reason why is you're learning how to use Teams. You're learning how to stay optimized uh, through the usage. That means you'll use the, the chat feature, the call feature, the scheduling, um, sharing of the documents, et cetera. It increases your productivity whenever you have a good communication tool in place and keep everything orderly. Um, it also helps reduce employee stress having good communication tools. And of course, it will increase your return on investment for your home workers. So I'm just going to move on from that and discuss the Microsoft 365 training. So we do help identify training needs through um, this automation through Smarter SaaS. And this is also something that is color coordinated for you as well. We have green, which means fully using very good. We have the semi green kind of brown and that means eh, it could be a lot better, uh, but there is some usage and then you have the red, which means zero usage at all. You really need to change that. And so it helps identify who needs the training and where and then we will help al align the right courses for you um, and then we can help prepare email distributions for you as well. And then finally we can measure and see uh, the improvements of your usage and how your team is incorporating this training into your uh, licensing. So where exactly do you stand? I would say if you're like the 89% of businesses that we found don't track and monitor their Microsoft 365, you're probably standing with them as well. Most customers are, they're in the red. And our goal is to help you get into the green. And Microsoft's goal is also to get you in the green to have you at least 95% usage. So uh, just take a moment and think, oh, do I really track and monitor? Do I really know what's going on? It's okay if you don't, because we're here to tell you we can do it and we can automate it for you. So we have an efficiency health check available for you. And this is a completely free efficiency health check that's available on our website. I can provide that link. Um, to you in the chat box, but you can visit us at businesssoftwarecenter.com to sign up, or you can check us out on Microsoft App Source and Marketplace and download this for free directly through Microsoft. Now, what we do is we analyze your Microsoft usage through the past 180 days. So if we started it today, we could look at the past 180 days, analyze usage behaviors, 
um, within that time period. And all the, the information is anonymized. So you don't have to worry about um, information getting into the wrong hands. Uh, we do have unlimited seats available for this. Uh, it, it gives you the complete license overview that I showed earlier. Um, it gives you an opportunity for subscription optimization. Um, it does show automatic downgrade and reharvesting calculations, which I showed earlier with the dashboard. And then overall, it does give you the overview of your usage. And what's really nice is this only takes 10 minutes to, si to set up, so why not download it today? So I'm just going to go ahead and check and see uh, if we have any questions coming in. And I do see a question here. It says, can this help reduce my Microsoft licensing fees? And I would like to say, uh, yeah, this can certainly help reduce your licensing fees um, if that's your goal. You know, um, as I mentioned earlier, with the best business practices, it's really good to set goals for yourself. And if you're kind of clueless on your software asset management, we can certainly help you with setting goals. And if that's one of them, I would personally say optimization should be a number one. But hey, if you're looking to save money, I would say um, having that as a goal is perfectly fine. And what we can do is help show you where your surplus is. And so essentially what that means is say, for instance, you had um, someone leave the company, but you're still paying for their licenses. What we can see is we'll, we'll see who the license is allocated to, and then we'll bring the information back to you and say, okay, so-and-so has this, but there's been zero usage on this for the past few months, what's going on? Oh, well, they ended up leaving the business. Okay, so why is it you're paying for this license? Oh, well, it's because I forgot I had it, <laughs> which is often what happens. So what you can do, especially if you're on the cloud, is you can flex your subscriber down that month and not pay for that license. And then of course, if you hire somebody new to replace them, you can then flex your subscription up and just carry on with that. So that's the way we would advise on how to um, reduce your licensing fees. Yes, thank you so much for that question. Okay, I don't see any other questions coming in right now. Um, I do apologize. I, someone said my microphone, my, was my microphone muted? I think at some point it was, but I hope everything's okay now and I hope you can hear me. Um, so I just want to announce here, our our next Coffee Talk TSC is on January 26th, and this leads into that question I was just asked, save on your Microsoft 365 by managing SaaS as an asset. So um, Kelly, since you asked me that question, please follow us for next week's session, and I can certainly go into more detail about how to save on costs. And then just here is our website information here, uh, businesssoftwarecenter.com, if you want to sign up for our free trial today. Okay, thank you so much for joining me, and it was a pleasure, and um, I'll see you next week. Alrighty, bye-bye.